These are the three ways I use silicone oil to get cells in my acrylic pour paintings. The recipe we're using throughout this experiment is two and a half parts of pouring medium, like Floatrol or Liquitex or whichever other retail pouring medium you can get your hands on, to one part of paint. I am adding a very small drop to the black and to the white, but I haven't added any silicone to the white that's on the base, the white base. I used the wet base first and then added the silicone oil after. So there's a small drop in the white, there's a small drop in the black, there's none in the pink. So now I'll use the funnel. The first method is where you add the silicone to the paint and mix it directly before you do the actual pour. Now as we lift our little funnel and the paint starts to exit, we're going to use some heat to bring the cells to the surface. And as you can see, we're getting a little set action right now. So that's the first method. You mix the silicone directly into the paint, stir it up, and then pour. The other method is, as you see me doing, I put a drop of silicone on the mat, and now I'm using a pin to poke the drop of silicone, just the one drop, and then go back and poke into the painting. You don't need to poke your silicone with each poke into the painting. You would probably just need the one drop on the mat and you can use that throughout the whole painting and you won't even run out. So this is the second method. After you've put the paint down on the painting, making sure there are gradients, making sure there are layers that are covering each other, you can directly poke your cells into the painting with a pin. Bear in mind, we're doing this before we've tilted, before we've spun it out. So these cells are actually going to get a lot bigger, but if you move it too steeply, if you move it too much, you'll see that it'll start to warp a little bit. Make sure your sides are evenly covered with paint and your corners. This will help the paint flow over the corner without warping too heavily. But some warping is always expected in these kind of situations. So now that we've hit our corners, we'll come back to center and you'll notice that there's a small spot in the middle where cells didn't form. So the third way that you can use silicone to create cells is after you've spread out your paint. Now you can still do the poking thing again, but the difference is these cells are not going to grow much because they're already sandwiched in the middle and you don't have a lot of room to move the paint around anymore. We've already tilted off the excess. So the third method is to poke the cells after you've tilted the excess paint. This usually results in smaller cells. Um, they hit their maximum capacity relatively early on, and if they hit the outside of another cell, that's usually when they stop growing. So there you go, that's three methods to use silicone oil to get cells in your acrylic pore paintings.